3rd of February to 17th of April, Jupiter is transiting in Bharani. We know that we, I have already made that video and you have seen it. But why am I making this video again? Because this is the first time I am seeing so many people contacting me, telling me about so many different things that they are going through, which are exactly what Bharani Nakshatra tells us before, right? So therefore, you might be facing some of these or you might not be facing any of these, but I'm sure depending on your horoscope, depending on your dashas, you will certainly be facing some of these, okay? So <clears throat> if you are facing any of these 10 indications or 10 uh, scenarios playing out in your life, you might expect them to get a bit more serious by 17th April uh, because that's the end date. But nonetheless, you need to check your chart and see which dasha you are running, which uh, antara dasha you are running. If they are not indicating all this, then you will just pass this. Okay, it won't be something very dreadful. But in case you have similar dashas which are indicating the things that I'm going to tell you here, then you might face this a bit more seriously. All right. So if you're new, then please subscribe and like this video and also comment below while you are hearing all this if you are facing something similar and what are you facing and how are you coping up with it all right and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so what is the first thing that people are facing well which which is very obvious which is things are ending so endings could be either good or it could be bad so it could be that you have a job uh, and that that is like you know uh, you don't have the job or your business has closed or you are leaving your job and you are starting your own business so endings necessarily need not mean bad it could be that you are starting your job in a new company especially if guru is the lord of your second sixth or uh, tenth artha houses okay so depending on your ascendant you need to check where jupiter is wherever uh, whichever house is jupiter lords so Sagittarius and Pisces are ruled by Jupiter. So you need to check where are these two signs. Okay. So depending on that, you will face some kind of endings. Okay. But again, if your dashas are indicating extreme endings, then they may be bad. But if not, then uh, it will not necessarily be bad. If the dashas indicate good things, then it could mean that bad things are ending and new opportunities are coming into your life. Okay. But nonetheless, something is ending and there is no doubt on this. Now, the second thing is, things are slowing down. Bharani is the elephant. So you may feel a bit overwhelmed. You know, what is going on? My promotion is stalled. You know, my mm, business is kind of halted. You know, my YouTube channel is not growing. My pay scale is not going. This is not going. That is not going. You may feel that things are not moving at the pace that you want. Well, at this moment, you need to learn to be patient because Bharani gives you results, but slow and steady. Okay, it's that slow and steady. <laughs> All right, so number three, it could be that things are not ending, nor are things slowing down, but situations are such that you are forcing yourself to leave that place. So it could be that you are uh, leaving a company your, by your own free will, you are not fired, you um, were not threatened or intimidated, but you decided, yes, this is not meant for me, maybe, or I don't get respect, I'm not getting the amount of money that I should get, nor am I designation, uh, am I better designation, why so better I should leave the company, okay, so uh, again, this may be for good or for bad, you may go and start your own business or something like that, or you may go to another company, but you might be voluntarily ending things or leaving things, okay? This is similar to point number one, but voluntarily with intelligence. Number four, because of all this, you are introspecting within. You are trying to see, what am I doing wrong? Where am I going wrong? Who is doing wrong to me? So you are trying to see all these things and uh, you are trying to actually understand where actually, uh, where actually the problem is coming from. Okay, so therefore, now people, they are they should stop blaming others and they should try to see, look within internally and see what's going on. So if you are in a profession and you are not doing good there, so 
maybe you you need to upgrade your skill set maybe you need to be more assertive and deliver the results properly otherwise uh, you may not be trusted in the company right <clears throat> now number five rewarding you with more responsibility so this again could go either ways so if your dashas are good then it could be that you are getting some new job opportunities or within the job you have new responsibilities some new project new client uh, with some more pay or if the dashas are not good it may be that you have the same money same role but you mm, uh, are um, you, you are somehow being <laughs> i hope that makes it clear right <laughs> now number six all this craziness that is happening in your life this is forcing you to become more spiritual because you are you are seeing the fallacy of the material world, the promises of the material world. Okay, so therefore, if you feel that things are not going as per your will, they're going slow, things are ending, this happening, that is happening. Always remember, Lord Krishna has already said in the Bhagavad Gita, the material world is a place of misery, dukhala, mashashwatam. So therefore, if you are facing any of this, now is the time that, as I said before, you need to introspect, but not just materially, spiritually, you need to grow and learn from within. So read the scriptures, take lessons from your Guru Maharaj, and then you will become more spiritual. And by that, you will become a much better person. All right. So number seven, exposing lies. So you, this is not just in context of personal uh, behavior, like one-to-one, -one, you, you are talking something to me and I am lying something to you. But this is also in terms of governments, okay? So uh, we saw what happened like in India, the eight uh, na ex-naval officers from Qatar who were given death sentence, they came back, okay? So <clears throat> this is like the supreme justice because Yamaraj is the supreme uh, uh, justice he does justice to everybody after death all right so therefore and even uh in uh punjab you saw in this chandigarh mayor elections what happened you know there, there was some craziness and the supreme court uh said this is not correct okay so uh be careful of uh speaking lies to anybody because whatever you speak now you will be held accountable against it all right you should never speak lies but especially not when Jupiter is in Bharani because Jupiter is the planet of wisdom, morality and Bharani is the, Bharani is the judge. Okay, so when these two energies are together, ah, better to be on guard. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, number eight, you are getting a bird's eye view of things, which means now you... If you see certain things are not working in your life, you are not just bothering about, okay, why is just this not working? You are trying to see maybe there's something else I'm doing wrong, which I'm not able to see. So, for example, in your profession, it could happen that you uh, you have a job and you are not getting promotion, you are delivering results, but maybe your communication skills are not very good. You are not able to present things properly. Okay, so that is where you need to work. So now you are not only just getting obsessed with one area, you are also seeing the other areas of your life, okay? Or within that aspect, it could also work for marriage or any area of life. Now, number nine, Varani Nakshatra with Jupiter in it will force you to control your bad habits. So bad habits like smoking, drinking, eating meat, like watching adult material in the internet, uh, gambling, uh, gossiping and all this. So uh, if you are doing all this, then may, it could happen that certain things are going viral and you know you you, you are facing repercussions because of that so uh, try to not do sinful activities try to control your bad habits even though some gray habits like you know uh, sleeping too much or uh, yeah just talking too long uh, like somewhat like you know frenzy talk or something like that so please be mindful of your actions of what you are uh, speaking, what you are talking. Otherwise, uh, this, again, as I said, can be, uh, you could be held accountable uh, for all this, okay? But if you try your best, I'm sure you will, you will do great, okay? And lastly, because of <clears throat> all this craziness, there's a lot of cleansing and acceptance that is happening. See, Bharani is the nakshatra of acceptance because it tells you your limitations, okay? Bharani is the nakshatra of limitations, Limitations are not always bad. They can also be good. Limitations help you to focus in one area of life and get considerable results. Okay. So therefore, it is very important that you do not get obsessed about doing everything in life. Try to narrow down things and 
obtain specialization in one area of life. Like the Pandavas, you see, Yudhishthir was a great spearman, you know, he was a great Bhala fighter. Then Bhima was a great Gadadhar, right? Uh, Arjuna had this Gandhiv, he was a Dhanurdhar, okay? So similarly, Nakul, Sahadev and uh, the, all, all the five Pandavas, they were very special in some area of life, in uh, some combat. So that is how you have to develop yourself, you know. You cannot be like uh, Arjun and Bhim and uh, Yudhishthir combined. That is, that's not possible. Only God can be that. Okay. Nonetheless, uh, you need to accept things and understand that everything has a purpose and do the best and leave the rest to God. All right. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and <clears throat> subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And for consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him.